guys, this is Kaika again. I'm um, here with a short video. Well, I hope it will be a short one to talk about something that's not exactly cosplay, but it's very cosplay related because um, I'm here to talk about skin and makeup. So I realize a lot of cosplayers and like I'm talking about experienced cosplayers who are actually quite clueless about how to take care of their skin, and uh, it's. It's quite horrifying to see how, see or to hear them talk about how they take care of their skin. And so, um, I asked on Facebook, and a lot of people say that they would like to see a video about uh, how to take care of your skin for cosplay. Well, not exactly for cosplay, but you know, you should always take care, take care of your skin. So, I will try to make this short and sweet, and to the point. And I hope you guys enjoy. It. I must first disclaim that I am not a skin guru so I'm not going to go into scientific nitty gritties and stuff like that so I'm just going to share with you guys some basic tips about um, taking care of your skin so I hope you enjoy it so this video I'm going to talk about what things you should do before you apply your makeup so the first thing you should do before you apply your makeup is to wash your hands I know it sounds like common sense but well, some people might not get it. And when I say wash your hand before applying your makeup or touching your face, I mean washing it just before you apply your makeup and not like five minutes before you do it. Uh, because like five minutes is enough for your hands to get in touch with all the bacterials on the chair, on the car, or you know, on all sorts of things. And it's so easy for the bacteria to transfer from your, uh, from your palms to your face and in turn make you break out. So always remember to wash your fingers and wash your hands before you do makeup. If you happen to be applying on makeup outdoors and in a place where you have no access to water, well, you can always use wet wipes. The second thing to do before you apply your makeup is to moisturize your face well. Moisturizing your skin adequately gives it the water it needs. Applying moisturizer to your face also allows your epidermic layer to be um, more supple and less dry and your foundation can go on much better and well let's just face it if you have bad skin it's going to look horrible even with a pile of makeup on so always remember to take care of your skin first before you take care of your makeup one thing to note though give your skin a little bit of time to absorb whatever skincare product depending on the products that you use give it around 5-10 minutes before you apply the makeup on Third, exfoliate your skin. Lean and dry skin tend to look very dry and flaky when you apply makeup on it and it's just a horrible sight to see and it's something that no amount of, of makeup can help to cover and in fact, the more makeup you put on, the more foundation you put on, the flakier it appears and it always makes your skin look dry and wrinkly and ugly stuff like that. So. Before you apply your makeup, I'm, I'm not saying you always have to exfoliate your skin before you apply your makeup. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm just saying um, gently exfoliating your skin before, maybe the night before or the morning before you apply your makeup is puts your skin in a very good condition whereby it doesn't have too much dirt and dead skin to hinder the absorption of the moisturizer and the adherence of your makeup so there are tons of exfoliating products out in the market but um, I usually just try to stick to the gel or the water-based one because I think they are more gentle on the skin um, at the moment now I'm using cure this is the aqua based gel exfoliator and I think by far it's the best that I've used previously I was using bioessence and Ginvera which is also a gel based uh, exfoliator but for those two products I I observed that it kind of leaves a gel layer on top of my skin after I'm done with it so um, Cure doesn't actually do that which I think is really awesome <laughs> like for myself because I, I apply makeup very frequently I actually exfoliate my skin every night Something fun about the exfoliator is you can actually make your own DIY exfoliator. You can just pop over, you can pop over to Google and try, look for some recipes on how to make your own 
uh, DIY skin exfoliator but for me when I want um, an extra strong exfoliator that's stronger than the usual gel based ones I would mix salt with my usual cleanser or I will mix it with like olive oil or cold cream basically I will just mix it with something that is either a cleanser base or a lubricant base avoid rubbing your skin too hard and if you're using granular exfoliators like salt or scrubs those are actually harsher and can actually be detrimental for your skin if you rub too hard so be nice to your skin be gentle with it the fourth point is to keep your makeup brushes and sponge clean i know it sounds like common sense again but it's so easy to overlook this part and you're actually supposed to at least clean your brushes or makeup sponge once a week so i personally usually wash my makeup brushes with shampoo and it has worked pretty well for me by far it takes a while to dry especially for thick brushes like this but that's something you have to go through um, recently I found a makeup guru on YouTube that teaches you how to clean your brushes with alcohol 99% alcohol and I've tried it and I think it works miraculously fast and efficient so if you are able to get cheap alcohol around your uh, neighborhood then go ahead and try that method so the fifth point is to apply lip balm before you apply your lipstick I know it sounds like common sense too but I've seen way too many cosplayers with really bad chapping lips and um, especially for people who cross dresses and they apply concealer on their, on their lips and you know concealer tends to be a bit dry so dry lips on dry concealer uh, 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 it just looks bad so remember to moisturize your lips and find a invest in a good lip balm and also the same thing as your moisturizer apply it five minutes before you actually apply your lip color otherwise the, the oil base and the lip balm is going to stop your lip color from from sticking to your lips so you don't really need to do this but for people who have dry skin or combination skin or skin that tends to get oily <laughs> just like everyone okay like what i like to do the night before i cosplay is actually to apply face masks to my skin well i'm kind of like addicted to face masks and i have combination dry skin so and dry skin looks horrible with makeup so getting enough moisture into your face with a face mask really helps to make your face look more alive and clear and supple the next day you don't really have to do this but for me I see a difference when I apply face mask the night before or the morning when I cosplay so it works for me I'm not sure if it works for you just telling you so the last thing I will recommend that you do before you apply your makeup is actually to apply primer skin primer um, some people think that um, primer is just like this additional product that the makeup industry is trying to cheat you into buying but if you buy the right primer it actually really does work primer really helps to keep your makeup on longer it smooths out the skin before you apply a foundation on and some of them some of them actually helps the makeup to stick onto your skin better so you know your makeup can stay on your face the whole day so i think i'm done with my video i am and sharing my tips i hope you guys benefit from it i no, it's kind of simple and com just common sense but i hope it makes some sense and it's useful to someone out there so that's all bye